You have disappointed me, Edelgard. To think that a descendant of House Heresbelg would dare betray the Holy Church. So, it is my teacher who stands in my way. I always knew it would come to this. Professor, kill Edelgard at once. She is a danger to all of Fodlan. Such a rebellious heart cannot be allowed to keep beating. My teacher, I... Thank you. But are you certain that... No. Now isn't the time for discussion. Words cannot properly express my gratitude, Professor. So, this is the choice you have made. You are just another failure. Your presence soils this holy tomb and disgraces my brethren. I will not allow one who would lend our enemies strength to wield the power of the goddess Sothis. I have passed judgment, and now I shall rip your chest open and take back your heart myself! <laughs> that must be the Immaculate One. Yes. The monsters that have controlled Bodlin in secret for far too long. Rhea is their leader. There is no time to waste. Your Majesty, Professor, we must escape while we can. Part 1. White Clouds. Lone Moon. Outset of a Power Struggle. Together, the people of Fodlin relish the beauty of the brilliant moon overhead as another year ends. They recall sad partings and new acquaintances alike, but each person must still walk their chosen path alone. With each day, the presence of spring grows stronger, and yet a lone moon still haunts the sky, a silent reminder, perhaps, of some inescapable truth. Uh, we somehow managed to escape. This is one of the Imperial Army's provisional camps. Here we can organize our forces. Before we go any further, I want all of you to really ask yourselves if you're certain you wish to join us. As expected, Flane has chosen to leave our ranks. When I saw our professor running off, I ran about as fast as I could to catch up. Caspar, death finds those who run without thinking. You gave no thought to the war fog. My grandfather was the leader of Bridget. And I hope for us to be allies with the Empire. I will be staying. W was this a good idea? Did I make the right choice? Oh, but my family is part of the Empire. And our professor is here. You're fine here with us, Bernie. Though it's true certain houses were against the Imperial Princess. I assume you're referring to my family. I must believe that the conclusion I came to was the correct one. You are the Emperor now. I am the only one left who is qualified to guide you at this point. I'm only here because I know it would be troublesome to stand against you. I'm not just here for you, Aidy. I'm here to follow our dear Professor. Of course, I don't have any territory to offer, so Hubie may not even want me here. The greater our numbers, the better. Your reasons for being here are of no consequence. I think I understand where you're coming from. But now, I wish to hear of your resolve. Like you, I have risen to meet my destiny. I cut this path, and I will see it through to the end. Following me is akin to pointing a sword at the goddess herself. 
One misstep and we fall to our ruin. You have now witnessed the Archbishop's true self. She is a cruel beast. Those who rule this world use that beast's power to fabricate miracles. All to control those who blindly believe in the Goddess. They conceal the truth and force their lies on the nobility. They mercilessly annihilate anyone who defies them. I know this because I have lived it. After what you have seen, is there any room for doubt? The Church of Saros has great influence and power. Their control over the Lords of the Kingdom and the Alliance is nearly absolute. We are the only ones who can stop this indomitable enemy that has plagued our world for ages. We fight for humanity, for all of Bodlin. If you dare walk this path with me, take your first step. It's now or never. Thank you, my friends. We are the true face of the Empire, and we will triumph! That was incredible, Lady Edelgard. Thank you. Honestly, I'm relieved. They really chose to follow me. I was resolved to move forward alone if I had to. But in my heart, I hoped it wouldn't come to that. So long as I am here, you will never be alone. Please do not forget that. And... it would seem that the Professor also has a key role to play in this. You're right. Now, I must speak with our dear teacher. Please, make preparations. The messenger should be here shortly. Consider it done. Professor, may I speak with you? I appreciate it. I... I'm just... anxious. It feels like the weight of this burden is crushing me. At this very moment, on my orders, I'm starting a war. An army far larger than the one that attacked the Holy Tomb last month will soon be locked in battle. Long-devised strategies are unfolding across Foldland. Leaders are deciding their loyalties and preparing to fight. So many generals and soldiers will die. It's inevitable that civilians will get caught up in the chaos as well. There will be countless casualties. With a single command, the flames of war will rage across all corners of this realm. And I am the one who is giving the order. Yes, it is. There is no turning back. No matter how much blood flows at my feet, I will not relent. We must break the bonds that the depraved church has placed on Fodlan. These sacrifices will allow us to create a future where we never need sacrifice again. It may seem contradictory, but it's the only way. <laughs> Listen to me. I made up my mind long ago. Yet here I am, seeking your approval. Tell me the truth, my teacher. Are you happy with your decision to stay by my side? Unlike me, you can still walk away from all of this. This path leads to the death of the Archbishop and the servants of the Church. Can you live with that? I never thought... I'm sorry, it was a foolish question. I believe in you, Professor. And you believed in me. With that knowledge, I have the strength to keep fighting. Let's go. There's something I need to say to Hubert. Your Majesty, the latest report indicates that our main army is advancing as planned. Also, the preparations for your manifesto are almost complete. We will be distributing our manifesto to every lord within Fodlan. We will expose the dark side of the Church of Saros and the foul practices of the nobles from the Kingdom and the Alliance. We will force the people of Fodlan to open their eyes to the truth and relinquish any remaining conviction to unite against the Empire. Certain nobles have already offered us their support. Yes, there are other nobles who oppose the Church. We will condemn those who deserve condemnation and forgive those who deserve forgiveness. We have already purged some of the Imperial nobles who are morally rotten. 
my father among them. <laughs> How unfortunate. And soon we will invade and conquer Garrick Mont. Our main army has already departed the Imperial capital. They will arrive at the monastery in two weeks' time. There we will join forces with them. As for us, I'd like your opinion on how we should be positioned within the army. Your Majesty intends to fight alongside the Professor, correct? In that case, you will not be incorporated into the Empire's main army. Your squad can move freely about the battlefield under supervision of the Imperial forces. That would be most prudent. Now that I'm the Emperor, we can't let it slip that I'm following your command in battle, Professor. I fully object to the notion of you fighting on the front lines. Hubert, we've already discussed this. My apologies. I overstepped. Now that the details are settled, all that's left is to come up with a name for ourselves. In honor of our time at the Academy, how about we call ourselves the Black Eagle Strike Force? It seems we have differing tastes. I suppose we'll have to agree to disagree. I'll leave it to you to prepare the Black Eagle Strike Force for departure. was stripped of his title. I guess he did as he pleased and opposed Edelgard. Wait, does that mean my father's going to be home all the time now? On second thought, I think I'm fine right here. Um, 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 what? Um, um, um. became emperor and raised an army, huh? I knew the kid had it in her. I mean, yeah, of course, I knew she'd be emperor eventually, but the more I think about it, the more surprised I am. I wonder who's gonna win. Thinking about it makes me scared. We're fighting the Knights of Saros. Still, I know you'll figure something out. I'm sorry. 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 The Empire and Bridget were once warring with each other. But now, I have made the decision to be fighting with the Empire. It is a choice of irony, I feel. But I am having no regrets. My belief is with you and with Edelgard. This is. This is. This is. This. This is. I had lost. This is... this is... Imagine making half the world your enemy for the sake of realizing your own ideals. Edelgard is so radiant and strong compared to someone like me. What if I have the power to change the world too? Even just a little bit. What's the... what's... 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 <laughs> Black Eagle Strike Force, eh? 
I like it. It's really a twist of fate that brought me to this side of things. But I'm still proud to be here. Teacher. I asked Edelgard what happened to my father. He was dismissed as Prime Minister and is under house arrest in the Imperial capital. He always was a greedy, arrogant man. Some would say that this is the fate he deserves. And yet I cannot help but feel indignant. After all his hard work for the Empire, to be disgraced like this. I am conflicted, Professor. I do not know what to do. As the next Duke Iyer, should I follow Edelgard into battle? How could... 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 Oh, that could have gotten dangerous fast. If I stayed at the monastery, I would have had to fight my father. We aren't especially close, but he's not an opponent I'd want to face. I'd almost rather fight a monster. Anyway, it looks like he's going to be leading the Western units. I wonder if we'll wind up fighting the Kingdom's army, and who decided to fight for the church. What's that? 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 The most important nobles in the Empire are known for taking power from the previous Emperor, my father included. I didn't think it possible that the Imperial Princess could ascend the throne so easily. However, it seems that both my father and Kaspars are supporting Edelgard. Having both the Minister of Domestic Affairs and Minister of Military Affairs on your side gives you total control over the Empire's military and finances. We must have been making preparations for quite some time without anyone noticing. Hmm. That's not. 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 Hey there. Come back anytime. I may return to Galatea territory, and try to convince my father to join our cause. It's possible that... <sighs> no. In my heart, I know that my father won't listen. Still, I must get him to see reason. That this is the only way to ensure our family's future. No. Yes, that's my... No. 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 What do you require? Do you want to hire this battalion? Do you want to hire... Great to meet... Do you want to hire this... We've got... Farewell. Look. Please come again. Ugh. Surely this is what the goddess willed, isn't it? I feel she would not have wanted the Church of Saros to become what it has. Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? I've decided to ally myself with Lady Edelgard. Father will doubtless understand my reasoning. House Gloucester has always had good intentions in its dealings with the Empire. Of course, this does mean I will no longer be able to avoid a confrontation with Claude. It is unfortunate. We were classmates, after all. gone and done it now, huh? What would my old man say if he knew I'd sided with the Empire? His Highness must be angry. Dimitri gets super scary when he's like that. I wonder how I'm going to die. Ugh, my knees turn to jelly just thinking about it. No, I, I can't think that way. I promise to fight alongside you. I'm here until the end. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm terrified, but I feel so calm. Um, um... Um, 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 um. 
Yes. Right, I'm a soldier. But I had to think long and hard about this one. Since birth, I've believed in the teachings of Saros without ever questioning them. But Her Majesty's words are true. To think that the Archbishop can take on such a monstrous form. A moment. It is not up to Her Majesty to bring the students to our cause. That task falls to you. Those who have forsaken their homelands to join the Empire will be feeling... vulnerable. You are uniquely able to provide emotional support. Please use that gift to guide others down the path that Lady Edelgard has laid before us. I ask you to do this from the bottom of my heart. We will join forces with the main army and attack Garrick Mok. It's a fortress built on steep ground, but it's never seen battle. That means we don't know much about it from a military perspective. But if we use all of the power at our disposal, we will capture it. From a purely mathematical standpoint, we most certainly have the power to win. If the battle becomes a clash of beasts with inhuman strength, you will be our only hope. I believe in you. I'm relying on you to lead the Black Eagle Strike Force to victory. Alas, alas. Alas, 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 alas. Okay. I came this far mostly on impulse, but I wonder if it was the right choice. Everything will be okay, right, Professor? I'm not wrong, am I? If I know that you think it's okay, I feel like it will be easier to believe in myself. Yes, sir. Um, Professor? I'm okay with fighting whoever we need to, but I really don't want to battle my father. Oh, but I know that something is wrong with the church. And more than that, I believe in you, and I trust your word. You lead, and I'll follow. Yes, I've been preparing to take this path. My own path, not my old man's. And not the boars. Professor, so, you've turned against the church to ally with the Empire too, huh? I've never pressed him for details, but Captain Gerald was always suspicious of Lady Rhea, wasn't he? I'm on your side no matter what. I promised him I'd support you, and that's what I plan to do. I'm not sure whether I should believe all that Edelgard says, but if her words are true, I think it's best to be her ally. So I'll fight. I'm not at ease with that decision just yet, but I'll stick by it. Oh. If the church is behind the current state of things, this society in which only crests are valued, then I have no need of it. Edelgard is taking the shortest path to change, no matter how drastic her measures, I agree that this is the only way. That said, if Edelgard strays from her noble path, I trust you will set her straight again. Won't you? I am counting on you, Professor. What? 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 Uh -huh. No need to worry about me. I got no complaints as long as my little sis is safe. Sure, I lived on Alliance land, but that doesn't mean I serve their lords. I'm sure this is the right path, seeing as you're the one who picked it, Professor. That, 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 that. To think things would come to this. Even a few months ago, I never could have imagined it. I believe in you, Professor, so I'm stealing myself. I can't promise that I'll be useful in battle, but I'm not running away from the fight. Ah, 
Yes. I'm Randolph von Burglis. I'm not very high in the ranks yet, but I'm more or less a general. Just like Kaspar, I'm from House Burglis. My mother married into House Burglis after I was born, so my position within the family is rather lowly. But I'm determined to make something of myself in this battle to bring glory to my part of the family, for the sake of my mother and sister. I believe that this is the first time we have met. My name is Ladislava. I have the great honor of leading Lady Edelgard's personal guard. Her Majesty is as hard on others as she is on herself. She may seem composed, but that is only because she conceals her more passionate emotions. For that reason, she is often misunderstood. But now she has you by her side. I find that most reassuring. I look forward to working with you. I can't bring myself to trust the Church of Saros. Not after they killed Lenato and my brother. I need to know the truth. Even if it means turning my weapon on Fargus. I guess Lenato would be happy to hear me say that. If he were still around. Hey. Hmm. the name Lord Vestra mentioned among the Purge noble families of the Empire. He's Hubert's father, but Hubert seems rather unconcerned about it. That alone is why we soldiers find Hubert quite frightening. so sick of it all. There is so much to be done, yet all I encounter are new problems and pitfalls. Ugh. Sometimes I wish I could spend just one day doing absolutely nothing and gorging myself on sweets. You sound just like Hubert. Am I not allowed a fleeting moment of self-indulgence? But Hubert would never allow it. Indeed. It may not be possible now, but one day we will know the joys of idling. Mark my words. Is that a smirk I spy? Is it so amusing to you, me daydreaming of free time? I see. I'm finally getting an idea of what you think of me. But let's put all that aside for now. There is something I've been meaning to tell you. I'm afraid this might sound a bit sentimental. However, I want to thank you. Because of you, I feel I can walk my faded path without losing myself. If I were alone, I might have lost perspective and become a harsh leader with a heart of ice. But I'm not alone. With you by my side, I'm somehow free to be not only a leader, but simply Edelgard. True. I am fortunate to be surrounded by many wonderful companions. Nevertheless, you are different from the rest. Until now, no one has been able to surpass me, much less command me. I have always been seen as an untouchable princess or emperor. No one spoke to me as an equal or met my gaze without flinching. It was lonely, terribly lonely. The only person I could rely on as I tried to claw my way out of the darkness was myself. But you, you have been a brilliant light. Somehow you have chased the darkness away. And for that, I will always be grateful. Do you have a minute? You want to speak with me? How unusual. Please, come in. I'll prepare some tea for us. Have a seat. Would you care for some cake? 
Yes, please. I never say no to sweets. They're from Enbar. A bit too sweet for my own liking. Isn't that the whole point of cake? Well, more for me. Mm, these are fantastic with this tea. <laughs> True. Well, there's no shortage of them. Help yourself to as many as you like. Now then, you wish to speak with me? Mm, mm. So, I, uh, can tell you know a fair bit about me. Mm, mm. <laughs> Maybe this can wait until you've finished eating? Mm. Edelgard, you know a fair bit about me, don't you? What in particular? For example, the fact that I have two crests. Oh? That's hard to believe. No need to play coy with me. It won't work. It's clear my body has succumbed to the intense pressure of bearing two crests. Due to the immense requirements of bearing these crests, my life expectancy is painfully short. You know all of this, right? Actually, this is the first I'm hearing of it. How would I know unless you told me? Still won't drop the act, huh? Despite how obvious you've been with your concern about my health, you're certainly consistent. I'm not really in the mood for these games. Given your rank, you certainly have access to all kinds of information that others do not. Clearly, you'd have heard all about me. Either way, I know now since you just told me. About your two crests, your physical weakness, and your short life expectancy. However, according to the principles of crest research, it's impossible to bear two crests. Unless... You've undergone a blood reconstruction surgery. Is that the case, Lysithia? Correct. It wasn't as though I had a say in any of this. I see. So you've lived through that relentless terror and agony, and survived. You speak of all of this as though you understand it on a personal level. Edelgard, have you? You're a good friend, Lysithia, and a valuable member of this army. So I won't have you overexerting yourself. I don't want to lose you. Understand? I understand. <laughs> Good girl. Oh, and if you like those cakes, why not take some with you for later? There's no need to pander to me. But yes, I'll take those. Thanks. <laughs> We will soon arrive at Garig Mog Monastery. Forcing a surrender here is extremely significant, both strategically and symbolically. Of course, this is personal as well. This is where we all came together to learn and grow. I have no intention of yielding to our former classmates, so I ask that you prepare yourselves for anything. I'm not thinking about friends right now, and I'm certainly not prepared. Damn it, don't go around saying things that lower morale before we even get started. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's fight. I have nothing to lose aside from my friends who are here with me. Does that answer satisfy you? I have been ready for this since leaving my land of home. I will fight and win. How can you prepare to fight? Maybe I can prepare to prepare. There is no reason that I should not be prepared. It is my duty to stand up and battle. Thank you all. Now, let's talk strategy. As the raiding force, we will attack the area nearest to the monastery. The Knights of Saros certainly won't stand down after they catch sight of Her Majesty and the Professor. At the same time, the remaining areas will be surrounded and annihilated by the main army. In other words, we are the decoy that must suppress the enemy's most elite soldiers. 
We know more about the area near the monastery than anyone else in the Imperial Army. Still, we must prepare for the worst. It's possible we will have to face the Archbishop's true form, the Immaculate One. Fight with all you have, but don't be reckless. As promised, I will leave the command to our professor. Not only will we all survive this, but we will undoubtedly emerge victorious. This will be our first battle as the Black Eagle Strike Force. All the more reason to prevail. Friends, our opportunity for victory will come. But first, we must see to our defenses. The city's defenders are trying to stall for time. We must crush them swiftly. We should be wary of ambushes as well. Vladislava is being pushed on the left flank. We must push back with equal force. Stay focused. Should I have held back? Ferdinand von Eyre. As you wish. Ugh. Battle. I'm on it. Put 
me in there. I owe you one. What a jump. I will get the victory. Only a fool challenges me. Now you know your limits. what we need. I knew Her Majesty's allies would help us out. Well done. Stay focused. You fought well. I'm on it. Just give up. I will prevail. Witness my power. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Simple logic. As you wish. How humiliating. Hardly worth my time. This strength will serve Lady Edelgard well. Witness my power! Let's <laughs> go. 
If you side with the Empire, if you turn your sword on the Church and on the Kingdom, I care not who you are. I will end you just the same. Unfortunately, you must die here. You should never have defied the goddess. Master's name. I cannot allow myself to fall here. I must withdraw. You will survive this hardship. Just hold on. What's next? Retreat while you still can, Flane. I beg you! Understood. Stay safe, uh, brother. We will lend the Empire strength. Don't worry. We're allies now. I understand you must have many questions, but they'll have to wait until after the battle. Not bad at all. Right, me? 
takes might, right? Show no mercy to anyone who attacks Rhea. Flame, Gilbert, you put your lives on the line to protect us. I would have preferred to have more time to prepare, but we cannot delay any longer. Come forth! Protect Garrick Mach Monastery from those despicable rebels! I'll crush them all. Her enemies are my enemies. I'm grateful. Gro That's my cue. Growth is a part of life. Stay focused. Thanks so much. Practice. Stay focused. Let's keep at it. Practice yields results. I will get the victory. Ha! Witness Bridget Pride. Hard work created this. Oh no. Ugh. I'm on it. Ah! 
I am Ferdinand von Eyre. I will prevail. Won't do it all. My cue. Never heard. The noble standard. Put me in there. Gotta kill you! I'll send you flush! No one makes it past me. Thank you. 
trusted you. Lady Rhea trusted you. I won't let you live after what you've done. Prepare yourself! Lady Rhea, I'm sorry. Please, stay safe. All is well, Catherine. You must not die here. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. You worked hard for nothing. I still have a long way to go. Not in vain. I expect. You betray me, you worthless piece of garbage. I will punish you myself. I will not allow Garrick Mock or my mother to fall. Crumbling! We must escape! Professor! Take cover! Professor! 